Hey, 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 y'all. Um, so this was, this is Keisha P. Shields, for those of you who've never met me or anything like that. Um, and this is going to be pretty brief because I have to leave. Should have been gone, technically. And my dog is ready to go out and do her business and get her treat for the day. Um, but I've been, like, resisting coming on and doing lives for a long time, even though I love that connection. And since this was, like, totally impromptu, unscheduled, I'm not going to wait around um, for anyone to come. Hopefully you guys can catch the replay of this. Um, I just wanted to pop in and say something quickly. Like, during these times where there's so much dissension and chaos and tension and uh, hell there's so much happening it's easy to find yourself feeling obligated to operate from a place of anger and if you are like me that's not a place where you thrive right first of all if you know me it takes a lot for me to actually get up here um I will, but it doesn't happen very often. And so I find myself being like at a loss for words. Not because I don't know what to say, but because sometimes it can feel like it's not enough. Right? So I just wanted to talk about that because if you are someone who is a deep feeler deep, or either deeply introspective or, you know, empathetic or all these various things you have a lot to say you feel a lot that's happening right and I love I have some of my mentors who I look up to who are doing excellent things during this resistance during these times being very vocal which helps because right now I'm at a place where stepping up in that way isn't the feel-good spot for me when there's a lot of tension and chaos happening around me, I really try to tune in internally, right? And that's when I amplify my intuition or my intuition is amplified. And my goal is to connect with what it is, what it's trying to tell me, what it's trying to say, what it's trying to get me to understand, right? And so the best way that I can manage and show up during these times is to go within and to figure out how to create peace in the places where it doesn't exist, right? Um, some people thrive on that high, like, rah, 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 and I love it. I honor that space. Like, I was telling one of my new acquaintances that recently. Um, I honor that space if it's you because we do need... There has to be ebb and flow. We need people at all spectrums, right? But I wanted to tell people who are not necessarily that way that that's okay too. You can lead from behind the scenes. You can lead from within your spirit. You don't always have to be so angry. It's perfectly okay. So I just wanted to say that like, if you feel like you don't really know what to say, if you feel like you don't really know what to do, reach out to someone and simply ask, is there anything that you can do? Like I see so many of like my non-minority peers who are taking such a focal point, you know, during this campaign. And like, I love seeing that. I love it, you know? And I just wanted to say, if you don't really know how to connect, feel free to reach out. Um, but you have to take care of yourself. It's okay to take that deeply, that deep pain or deep aggravation or deep anger that you feel and turn it into your work, your mission, your higher calling. That's perfectly fine. There's many ways to resist. There's many ways um, to deal with what's happening. There's many ways to make an impact. You have to find the way that works for you. But don't silence yourself. Don't let your loss of words keep you from speaking the truth about what needs to be said. Don't let your loss of words or being politically correct or 
whatever it is, don't let that stifle you from moving forward and doing what you have to do because there is somebody who's looking up to you, who's waiting on you um, to lead. And I just wanted to say that, like, it's perfectly okay. And like, I don't want to feel obligated to have to be angry. That's not how I roll. Even when I'm frustrated, even I have a whole lot to say. Anybody who knows me know that I have a whole lot to say. Hi, Victor. And okay, it's perfectly okay. Thank you to be that way. So you don't have to be angry. You can be a lover like me. You can focus on going internal, doing the internal work that you need to do. You can focus on your business. You can focus on what's next for you. You, Those are all ways to resist. Those are all ways to show up, right? You have a mark to leave and it's okay. It's okay. And I wanted to come on and say that because I know I posted that I've kind of been at a loss for words and that's not necessarily the case. Um, but sometimes it doesn't feel like the right thing to say on this platform or whatever. And you have to just trust in that you have to lead in the way that works for you. And it doesn't mean being so vocal necessarily. You can take that, put it into your expertise. You can create solutions that people need to get through this time because there's a lot of solutions that people need. And if you have it, put it together and put it out there. There's many ways to show up and have your voice heard during these times. I just wanted to pop on and say that so you guys can watch the replay um, if you want to, but it's okay. You have to operate in the way that works the best for you and who you are and be fine with that. Don't allow yourself to be pressured into believing that if you're not angry, then you're not, that you don't care, that you're not making an impact because it could not be further from the truth. But you don't want to be disconnected and passive. That's what you don't want to be. So you need to find that balance. And I just wanted to let you all know that. Um, hi, you guys who are coming on. Hopefully you guys can catch the replay because I have to go. Um, but if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below. Have a good day, everybody. Oh, by the way, also, I'm hosting um, my leadership class on Sunday the 1st at 5.30 Pacific time. I'll put the link in here. You can go and register. I would love to have you all there because we're going to talk about trusting your intuition, why highly driven women leaders get in their way. And it's a really loaded topic, and I hope you guys can make it. Bye.